Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna head off to Home Goods and TJ Maxx to see some of their new decor that they have in store. I love taking a little peruse during the spring season and just kind of getting inspired and sourcing those pieces that will help to give my space a more high-end look at a really great price. So I'm gonna take you all through the stores with me and kind of point out those pieces that will really help to elevate your space. And then we'll come back home for a little mini haul and I'll show you some of the pieces I picked up and how I styled them throughout my home. So hope you guys enjoy and without further Further ado, let's head off to Home Goods. Okay, so here we are at Home Goods, and they have quite a bit of outdoor furniture right now. And this is one of my favorite places to get outdoor furniture. It's where we bought our set, and this was only five hundred dollars for both chairs, the ottoman, and the side table. It's perfect for a little outdoor patio area, and maybe if you have a bigger space, this would be a good option. I loved the woven detail on these, and that they swiveled. I also really like curved back outdoor furniture. I feel like that adds a really interesting line to your space and they also had this beautiful outdoor table i loved again that woven detail it helps to add some warmth and texture the whole table was 1300 which i felt like was a really good deal considering you get the table and all of the chairs and i loved the weathered look of the top of the table i felt like that just looks very rustic and distressed and gives it a more high-end finish i also like to peruse through the decor section just to see if there's any unique finds and i I did spot these really beautiful trunks. The smaller one was $30 and the larger one was $40. And I think that these make really beautiful styling pieces and they also double as storage. So they're super practical. We have one in our upstairs room and I hide games and remotes and coasters and things inside. Home Goods is also a great spot to look for old world inspired vases. I loved this low profile white one. It was only $25 and I love the little handle details that it had on it and the texture of it it just seemed to be distressed and antique even though it's a newer piece it had that old world antique feel to it which I just love same thing with this cream colored one it looked super similar to the one that they sell at Pottery Barn for a hundred dollars while this one was less than half of that price I also loved the natural pattern on this marble tray this was $70 but it looks almost identical to one that they sell on Wayfair for hundred and thirty so still a really great deal and then I also love this beautiful black handled vase, just simple and rustic and would make a really pretty accent piece on summer, like a countertop or a nightstand. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot here are these jumbo styling beads and I love these. These are only $30 and they look just like the ones that they sell at, again, Pottery Barn for $100. These actually really come in handy. You can pop them in bowls and they just help to soften the aesthetic and make it feel effortlessly styled. They had them in this beautiful green color and they also had them in like a milky white as well another stunning styling piece is this scalloped marble bowl this guy looks very similar to the one that they sell at our house for $300 while this one is only 50 bucks it definitely adds that elevated feel to your space with those beautiful lines and marble material and they also had this other one this was more of a tan color I believe a similar one is actually available online right now so I will link that as well as anything that I can link that similar below and another stone piece that I really loved was this travertine top console table the travertine along the top just helps to give it such a high-end feel especially when combined with that wood it really looks beautiful to combine wood and stone together so this is definitely a beautiful piece it is a little pricey at $1,300 I feel like for home goods $1,300 for a console is still a little bit on the more expensive side but we're gonna go head on over to the pillows now they had so many floral pillows in store i love this blue one with the really light gauzy texture and the frayed edge when i'm looking for floral pillows i typically try to source ones that are simple in colors so they don't have too many different wild and crazy colors going on i feel like that just helps to give it a more natural feel which is my personal preference and i feel like it's also easier to pair with pillows that i already have i loved the vintage inspired artwork on this and how it looked like a little sketch this is kind of an example of a pillow that 
that I would not gravitate towards. The colors are just a little bit loud and it would be hard to fit it in with the decor that I already have. This one, however, would be a much better option. It does have different colors within it, but they're more neutral, earthy colors. So they kind of fit into my natural color palette that I have in my space. Another earthy element that is a must for me in my space is woven materials. And I love these woven lamps. This one was only $60 and it looks very similar to the one that they sell at designer sites for over a thousand dollars. So definitely a great way to get that high-end look on a budget. I also love these beautiful scalloped ones and the deeper tone of the wicker material. Thought those were really pretty to pop on a nightstand. And they also had these with a little bit more modern lines. These remind me of something that you would see at Restoration Hardware. They were a hundred dollars. It had them in both black and cream. And a really easy way to freshen up your space instead of buying an entirely new lamp is just to swap out your lampshade. I loved these woven shades. The larger one was $25 and then the smaller ones were 17. I thought that was really reasonable and would help to add some beautiful texture and warmth to your space. Same thing with these baskets. They usually have a lot of baskets in the springtime because people are spring cleaning and need extra storage solutions. And it's just a nice time to get organized. I loved this scalloped trunk. This guy was only $70 and it would look so beautiful at a foot of a bed or in a living room in a corner. You could fill this with kids toys as a way for you know them to be hidden and out of sight in an aesthetic way. You could also use it to hold games or linens. Definitely a really versatile piece. And I also loved this framed Almafi photo. This would make such a statement and help to give off a relaxed European feel to a space. So now I decided it was time to head on over to TJ Maxx and in the candle section I found this stunning potpourri holder that reminded me so much of the Minka textured pot at Anthropology. I would just remove the potpourri and make this a little planter and pop some succulents or some herbs in here. Definitely has that high-end designer feel to it and I love the texture. And when I'm sourcing pieces I like to find things with interesting lines, things that are made of natural materials but just have something unique about them. And I love that this frame had that scallop detail and a beautiful curved line to it so it'd be fun to kind of pop on a gallery wall or on a shelf. Another thing that I thought was so beautiful was this set of nightstands. They were only $80 each and I love this storage underneath and that they also had a spot where you could practically style items so it could make them even look a little bit more aesthetic with some books and a vase down there. I love the brass knobs and the dark wood tone and $160 for the set of two is such a steal. And then I also discovered a black dupe for the Joshua vase that they sell at Pottery Barn. This one was only $30 and I love the rustic look of it. Definitely a great way to get that designer look for less. And I also spotted the these real touch tulips which are so beautiful for the springtime. They were $10 for each little bundle which I thought was a really good deal and these have kind of a rubbery texture and feel to them so they actually feel like real flowers when you touch them which is super nice and they also had these beautiful white flowers as well. I felt like $13 was such a good price for this huge bundle. I liked how they had different stages of blooms in this bundle and they're pretty just to mix in with greenery that you already have and to put them in they had a ton of vases to choose from for really affordable prices. Okay, so now we're back home and I'm gonna give you guys a little mini haul and kind of show you how I styled some of the pieces that I picked up. And the first thing that I got is probably my favorite and it is this stunning scalloped tray. Now, this guy was only $12.99, which is such a steal considering this looks almost identical to the one that they sell at Crate and Barrel, and that one is $59.99. So basically the same look for a way cheaper price. And what I actually love about this piece and what sold me is that it's indoor and outdoor. So you can use this on an outdoor patio set or a dining table. I could see myself using this as serveware. So maybe putting like a dish in here and putting it out on the dining table if we have a bunch of people over or 
something like that just to kind of like up the aesthetics and I like that it's wipeable and durable so if I spill something on it it's easy to just wipe it off and I'm just gonna use this as decor over on our dresser in our bedroom and style a little vase in there with maybe some of my other smaller decor I love using aesthetically pleasing trays to corral items just to make things feel more intentionally styled and organized it really does help your space to feel more refined and put together this would also be really cute on a shelf just to add some warmth because woven materials really help to add warmth to a space and give it a really pretty texture while still keeping it natural and down to earth at the same time you could also use this styled on like a guest bedroom if you were having people come stay with you you could put some towels in here maybe a little candle and the wi-fi code or something that would just be a very elevated way to impress your guests so i like that this has multiple uses and for 13 dollars, it was such a steal Okay, so the next piece that I found was this super cute little vase. Now, this guy was originally $10 and I got it on clearance for eight bucks, which I thought was such a steal. And what I loved about this piece was the beautiful crackle texture that it has. It really helps to give it that old weathered aged look, which just helps to add another layer of visual interest and character to your decorating. So I really liked that it had a pretty texture. And I also love the little scallop detail around the rim of the vase. This was handmade in Mexico and you can totally tell that some made the scallop detail using their fingers which is just so cool it helps to give it character and gives it that artisan handmade feel which I just personally love so I figured I would style this over in our living room because we have a really beautiful dark wood tray that has just this beautiful kind of deep brown tone so I figured the white would look really pretty contrasted against that and I'll just pop some faux greenery in it I think I'm gonna use these ferns that I found at Michaels I'll link those below and this piece would also look great popped on a kitchen couch countertop or styled in a bathroom or on a nightstand and what I actually loved about this was that it's the perfect size to fit a little mini mason jar in here so I can pop some of my greenery and florals from out in the garden in here and usually when I have greenery or florals from outside I don't have a ton or enough to make a huge bouquet so I like that this was a smaller narrow mouth vase so I can have just a couple stems in it at a time and just appreciate some of the cuttings from my garden so definitely a really versatile piece and such a steal at only eight dollars okay so this next piece was such a steal and it is this gorgeous natural marble kind of pedestal bowl i found this at tj maxx for 16.99 and that is such an amazing deal considering they sell a very similar one over on ballard designs for like 150 dollars. i think i'm going to put this over on our wood shelf in our bedroom and then to add some warmth i think i'm going to add some beads that i diy'd and just kind of drape them out of here maybe pop a little piece of greenery in there and like I showed you in the shop with me portion home goods and TJ Maxx are great places to source marble decor for really good prices marble has such an expensive look and when you use it in your space it really can give it more of a designer feel obviously you want to mix marble with other materials to give your space a more dynamic feel you don't want to style a marble bowl on a marble table on a marble floor like that will just give your space a super cold feel you want to style marble with things like greenery and wood and wovens and clay that will really help to give your space a more organic natural warm feel but still keep it feeling very elevated and designer at the same time okay so for this next piece the other day i came across this really beautiful butcher block cutting board on marshall's i think it was 69.99 and i was like oh i really am in the market for just a nice cutting board that's going to last me a long time and be really durable and i thought that this one was a really good deal because because it looks very similar to the one that they sell at Williams Sonoma for like $211. So I honestly almost bought it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Home Goods and see if I can find anything in person. So I did get really lucky and I found this beautiful made in Italy butcher block cutting board for only $34.99. Like what a steal. So this thing is solid. It's like really heavy and it seems to be really good quality. So I was so excited that I could find it for only 35 bucks. It does come with these little feet so I'm gonna put those on there and then just use this every night when I'm cooking cutting our vegetables things like that typically with cutting boards that are wood I'll only use like vegetables and fruit on them I don't like to cut meat on wood for some reason I just get grossed out with that I'll cut my meat on like a plastic cutting board and then I'll put those through the dishwasher but I know plastic cutting boards aren't supposed to be the best for you so I don't know that's just what I like to do but definitely a really good find for 35 bucks all right everyone that about wraps up this video 
video. I hope that you enjoyed this little shop with me and haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel and be sure that you're subscribed and notified so you don't miss any of my content. I post new home decor videos every single week, so you don't want to miss them. And also leave me a comment below letting me know if you like shop with me and hauls, or maybe if you like just the shop with me portion, or you like the combo of the two, or do you like just the haul, seeing how I style things in my home? And where should I go next? Do you guys like more Target stuff? Do you like home goods? Do you like more of like the antique and vintage stores? I love to hear your feedback, so definitely let me know in the comments. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!